Hi everyone, I hope you're having a wonderful Wednesday. My name is Dan Scoff. I'm the Chief Meteorologist of KNWA and Fox 24. And I wanted to give you this webcast extra because we really have our sights set on a weekend weather system that's going to bring multiple rounds of severe weather, including the potential for significant severe weather. And that does include the Northwest Arkansas River Valley area. Now you might be doing some traveling over the weekend on Saturday and Sunday. And you know a lot of outdoor events are taking place. So I wanted to get you caught up on the latest and let you know about the four W's. Now I know this is five days out from our uh, potential for significant severe weather so a lot can change but here's what you need to know uh, before the weekend arrives. First of all tomorrow we have thunderstorms that are likely for Thursday. It will actually come in two rounds, one that will be in the morning. Thunderstorms are going to develop in eastern sections of the Panhandle in western Oklahoma later on this evening on this Wednesday and overnight tonight those will try to make a run for northwest Arkansas and around sunrise tomorrow morning we could see a few isolated storms around the area. That will clear out briefly only to lead to another round of storms during the midday hours especially early afternoon. Now on Saturday, intense Oklahoma storms are likely, including the potential for tornadoes. It could be a tornado outbreak in the Oklahoma City area. If storms do arrive in northwest Arkansas on Saturday, it will be late in the evening, well after sundown. Now on Sunday, that's going to be the potential and the main focus for significant severe weather for the northwest Arkansas River Valley area. And the timing on that will be late afternoon into the evening on Sunday. So where is this going to hit? Well, first of all, this is going to be a widespread, multiple severe weather day event. And the reason for that, as you'll see, we've got a ski jump negatively tilted jet stream coming in. When those move in, that usually leads to bad consequences as far as the weather is concerned. And storms on Saturday should remain off to the west of northwest Arkansas. However, over the weekend, we will have high to even extreme instability. The entire area will be under a risk on Sunday for severe weather. But the question is, and this is yet to be determined, obviously five days out this can't be determined, how much precipitation will we see? How much convection, how many thunderstorms will develop before the main storms arrive ahead of the dry line on Sunday? That's going to determine the severity of our severe weather event on Sunday. So first of all, later on this afternoon into the evening, storms are going to develop in eastern Texas Panhandle and Oklahoma Panhandle as well as western and central Oklahoma in that yellow shaded area. Now as we move into our uh, Thursday, severe weather risk shifts to the east of our viewing area into central and eastern Arkansas, but we still have the potential for non-severe thunderstorms and maybe even a strong storm here and there in the northwest Arkansas area. As we move into Saturday, which is day four on the severe weather outlook, you'll notice central and uh, western Oklahoma under that severe weather threat. Now you notice that it remains off to the west of us on Saturday. However, Sunday late afternoon, the severe weather risk shifts into our viewing area. And that's going to be all east of a dry line. And Sunday's severe weather risk could be significant. One of the ingredients you need for severe weather is moisture from the Gulf of Mexico. We're about to get that as early as overnight tonight and into tomorrow. Right now our dew points are at about 50 degrees in Fayetteville, mid-50s in Oklahoma City. On the future track, you'll notice that moisture is starting to surge up from the Gulf of Mexico thanks to a stout southerly wind that's going to continue to blow throughout the night. Notice as we move into our Thursday afternoon, dew points hit the mid-60s. Remember I told you about that chance of rain? Well, that's going to lead to thunderstorm activity on our Thursday afternoon. Finally, the system starts to push off to the east, and you'll notice that the moisture clears out. But not the entire weekend. It actually makes a rapid return back to the north over the weekend on Saturday into Oklahoma and on Sunday moving into our area. Now the satellite radar kind of tells the picture. We've got some rain in the eastern sections of the Panhandle and western sections of Oklahoma. That's a weather system that's on the way and going to bring the rain in for Thursday. In fact on the water vapor you can see this dip in the jet stream it's a rather impressive jet stream and that low is starting to work its way eastward. That low pressure system that you see over the four corners of the United States will work its way eastward and bring us the rain as we move into Thursday. But we're focused on a real active and ominous jet stream pattern in the central and eastern sections of the Pacific Ocean. This is going to lead to the potential for a multiple day severe weather event. And believe it or not, we do look that far out. And the computer models have kind of been hinting at this. 
what you're noticing here is a look at the jet stream. So essentially the jet stream travels along uh, just as you see and as we move along in time you'll notice that this jet stream will start taking a big dip on the western coast of the United States. This right here is the makings of a negatively tilted trough and you will see by Sunday evening which will be the potential for severe weather around here this jet stream takes in a tremendous dip and then races back to the northeast. Well this is what you call a ski jump jet stream. Also if we were to divide this trough axis in half you'll notice that it takes on a slant from uh, northwest to southeast. This is what we call a negatively tilted jet stream. So all of those conditions combine for the potential for severe weather. And as far as the rainfall is concerned, well here it is. Uh, overnight tonight storms develop in Oklahoma and work their way eastward. Here's the round happening early in the morning. It does not look severe. You'll notice though we're not done with the system. We've got more storms rolling in during the early afternoon hours on Thursday. Those will clear out by Thursday afternoon. So if you have any base ball games or any type of outdoor activities Thursday evening you should be okay if the fields aren't too wet and then you'll notice that rain moving out. Everything remains high and dry throughout Friday and into Saturday but changes will be moving in on Sunday and of course we will continue to refine the forecast. I will say this at this point uh, multiple days of severe weather are likely with this system coming in. Sunday could bring the potential for tornadoes, so now is the time to review that tornado safety plan as well as your severe weather plan. Make sure you have ways to keep up with severe weather information. As we get closer to the weekend and uh, have a little bit better idea as to exactly what's going to occur with this complex of storms as it moves in on Sunday, we'll give you the ways that you can keep up with the latest with severe weather no matter where you are which I'm sure a lot of you might be at church on Sunday evening or maybe uh, you're just uh, outdoors and enjoying a beautiful day which could turn a little bit volatile during the afternoon and evening. So we're watching it closely here in the Weather Center and again keep it here with your Northwest Arkansas Weather Authority and we will keep you up to date with the latest.